All right, we are talking about solving two-step equations. So we're going to do the order of operations, but use it backwards. We've talked about the order of operations in class. It's always good to review. It. It's so important. And that's PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And it tells us that we need to do parentheses first, then exponents, next multiplication and division, whichever comes first, moving left to right, and last, addition or subtraction. Again, whichever comes first, moving left to right. So to solve an equation, we do the order of operations backwards. That means we get rid of it, well, we simplify first. Always simplify, we're gonna do more of that later. You don't need to worry about it for this video though. So after you simplify, you get rid of any addition or subtraction. Then you get rid of any multiplication or division. And if it applies, you would get rid of any exponents or squares. It's not going to apply today. So we'll take a look at an example. Example 1, we've got 10x plus 2 equals 32. You see our 10 and our x are right next to each other, so they're multiplying. We have the addition of 2. So I want to get rid of my addition first. I'm going to do that with the opposite operation, so I'm going to subtract. I subtract 2 on both sides. On the left, that plus 2 and minus 2 cancel, so I'm left with 10x. On the right, 32 minus 2 gives me 30, so I have 10x equals 30. As a reminder, that 10 and that x are multiplying. I undo multiplication with division, so I divide both sides by 10. When I do that, my 10s on the left cancel, so I'm left with x equals 3. 3 from 30 divided by 10. We always want to check our work, and we're going to do that by plugging 3 in for where we saw x. So now it becomes 10 times 3 plus 2, and that should give us an answer of 32 as long as we did everything correctly. So 10 times 3 is 30. 30 plus 2 equals 32. So we're good. We did our work right. Awesome. Let's take a look at another example. So for this example, it's 101 plus z over 13 equals negative 200. That z over 13, it means division. You might want to make a note to yourself about that. I want to get rid of my addition or subtraction first. That means I get rid of that 101. It's a positive, so I'm going to subtract it. So I have minus 101 on both sides of the equal sign. On the left, it cancels out. It leaves me with z divided by 13 equals negative 303 from negative 200 minus 101. I still have to get my z by itself. It's z divided by 13. I do the opposite of division, so I'm going to multiply on both sides. So I multiply by 13. It's going to leave me with z on the left, and negative 303 times 13 is negative 3,939. Especially if you get a crazy answer like this, you want to check your work. So as a reminder, we do that by putting our answer in whenever we saw the variable. So it becomes 101 plus negative 3,939 divided by 13. If we did everything correct, that should equal negative 200. So negative 3,939 divided by 13 gives us negative 303. So I have 101 plus negative 303. That should equal negative 200, as long as we did everything right. So go ahead and check it, but it does, it works out. So we're correct, awesome. Next, you're gonna have a couple of examples. You need to solve for the variable. So for number one, we have two plus three x equals 17. Number two, 19 minus four c equals 17. Number three, 12 plus w divided by 5 equals negative 24. And number 4 is y divided by negative 6 plus 2 thirds equals 5 thirds. You might want to pause the video here to give yourself a chance to go ahead and try those because the next slide is going to have the answers. I'm going to pause for a minute for you too. All right, let's check. So for number 1, x should equal 5. Number 2, c should equal 1 half. Number 3, w should equal negative 180. And number 4, y should equal negative 6. So now that you know what the answers are, if you didn't get those, go back and see if you can find your mistake. That's such a good thing to do. If you still have any questions, please watch the video again. See if you learned something else. Check out the other resources on the website. Um, there's the address again or see me or Mr. Ibanez after school. And if you do have questions, please let us know. We would love to help you. Thank you so much.